Senators could reportedly vote on the one more than one trillion dollar bipartisan infrastructure bill as early as this afternoon. More than five hundred seventy billion dollars will go to roads and bridges and electric grid upgrades. Money also going to broadband expansion, clean drinking water, electric vehicles. But House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she has no plans on introducing it until the reconciliation package, which is three and a half trillion plus, also clears the Senate. Joining me now, Tennessee Congressman, ranking member of the House Homeland Security Committee, Chuck Fleischman. Congressman, one of your concerns is that the billions in previously approved COVID relief funds uh, have already been diverted to pay for infrastructure, no? Well, that's one of the concerns. I do want to applaud the Senate for actually getting something done, taking a step in the right direction to get a bipartisan bill that finally starts to define infrastructure in a way that the American people understand it, roads, bridges, broadband. But we've got to look at this um, from the perspective of common sense. Right now, Speaker Pelosi is not using common sense. She wants a bloated bill, a bill that will literally work in everything from social justice to every part of the left-wing agenda that the Democrats are trying to espouse into a transportation bill. The American people don't want that. They want a roads and bridges bill that gets infrastructure going in America. Well, the Wall Street Journal has said repeatedly that basically this infrastructure, this bipartisan infrastructure deal, actually paves the way for the larger spending bill by the Democrats. They, uh, they can. This is the, the editorial in the Wall Street Journal today. They, meaning Senate Republicans, can now retreat to the sidelines and let Chuck Schumer and Bernie Sanders negotiate a partisan, multi-trillion dollar entitlement expansion that the Republicans have now made easier to pass. Well, unfortunately, we are dependent, if you will, on the good faith of Democratic senators, which doesn't give me a lot of strength or credence. but. If this is a trap, the American people will see that. The American people don't want radical left-wing social justice bills. And if there's ever going to be any semblance of a bipartisan deal on appropriations or any of the other major endeavors, if the Democrats try any more of their games in the Senate and try to cram down to reconciliation, which, again, is a budgetary trick. It is legal, but it's a budgetary trick to get done what they can't get done in a filibuster-proof Senate. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. But the American people want roads, bridges, broadband. We want a bill. We want a responsible bill that's responsibly funded. That's not where Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats in the House are. No one knows really where Joe Biden is. He's been all over the place. So let's just see where it goes today. The Biden administration, meantime, threatening to sue Texas over a new executive order from Governor Greg Abbott. Governor Abbott banning the transportation of migrants within the state by anyone other than law enforcement. Attorney General Merrick Garland calling the executive order, quote, dangerous and unlawful. Congressman, people are crossing the border uh, you know, who are refusing vaccination, who are sick. That's the issue that Governor Abbott is trying to tackle. But what say you? Well, I think Governor Abbott, <coughs> Governor Abbott is clearly right on point. Uh, the abject failure of the federal government to deal with illegal immigration. Uh, people are pouring over the borders. We've had over a million people come over, 362 percent increase, people just being released all over the United States. I feel sorry for the governors, for the states, for the state of Texas and other states are going to be burdened for decades because of the abject failure of the federal government. We've got to secure our borders, close our borders get uh, the rule of law back. It is total and utter chaos. The Biden administration and um, uh, Attorney General Garland are looking the other way because that's their agenda. This is what we've seen at several levels. They've got their agenda, their, their radical left-wing agenda, and they will do anything to promote it. We've got to stop it. Our borders are porous. This is a dangerous situation but on they, several levels. Well, what do you make of the Biden administration? They have reversed uh, one order that allows the expedited um, removal of, of certain illegal migrants. And then also uh, with the Title 42 that was allowing um, greater, I guess, deportation or to, to turn people away at the border 
because of COVID, that is not going to be repealed. So are those steps in the right direction? They are steps in the right direction because we have feared for months that President Biden was going to reject Title 42. For our listeners, what that meant is more sick people were just going to continue to pour in. But we need more than that. We need a comprehensive, all-out national effort to secure our border. We need the restoration of President Trump's buffer policy and other policies. We had border crossings at an all-time low under President Trump. We were dealing with it. We disincentivized, and this is what was so important. We told illegal immigrants, the cartels, the criminals, don't do this. The Biden administration's entire demeanor from the inception has been, come on in, the borders are open, we're going to do nothing, mm -hmm. and guess what? We've got a crisis. Right. Congressman Chuck Fleischman, thank you for being here. Good hey, to see you.